In a stunning evening gown, the Duchess of Cambridge showed off her impeccable grooming when she arrived at the Earthshot event at COP26 in Glasgow that evening. William and Kate attended the ceremony in Glasgow that evening alongside Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. At the arrival, Kate Middleton strolled behind Prince William in a sharp suit and looked like the epitome of poise in a blue coat dress and navy heels. The Duchess chose a gorgeous makeup look for the celebration that night, where she was joined by Boris Johnson, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Charles, and other important figures from the Sustainable Markets Initiative as well as the winners and finalists of the first Earthshot Prize Awards. The cost of her custom dress, which was constructed of a double wool creep fabric and was part of Epo9's SS20 line, is accessible upon request, but comparable garments sell for about $3,278. Camilla, 74, chose a teal Bruce Oldfield with repurposed buttons from another dress. Only a few hours prior to William and Kate's presentation, the royal couple travelled to Dennistown's Alexandra Park Sports Centre to speak with scouts and learn more about the organisation. The couple's first engagement since arriving in the Scottish city for the COP26 conference, which gathered world leaders together to talk about the need for immediate action on climate change, takes place at the occasion. Prior to being gonged by summit organisers for exceeding his allotted three minutes, Biden on Monday outlined his goals for reducing carbon emissions with a healthy amount of hot air. The infamously chatty president argued for the advantages of a green economy, claiming that the United States will set an example. Despite the audible cautions, he declared that the delegates were in the eyes of history and announced a comprehensive strategy to reduce emissions in order to achieve a net zero carbon economy by 2050. It will show the rest of the world that the United States is not only back at the table, but hopefully leading by the power of our example, he said. I am aware that this is not the case. To demonstrate that our climate commitment is backed by deeds rather than just words, my administration is working non-stop. The organizers instructed world leaders to limit their speeches to three minutes. Once their time was expired, a gong rang out every minute to inform violators of the limit. It sounded for Biden eight times. The warning had little effect, and after more than 11 minutes, he concluded. He repeated the action moments later in a separate meeting, speaking for eight minutes even though participants had been instructed to keep their remarks to two. In this instance, the British Prime Minister stepped in to save him by claiming that Biden was not there when the instructions were given. British Prince William and Kate Duchess of Cambridge are welcomed by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson as they arrive for a COP26 evening reception. Royally at ease. At a gathering, Kate smiles as she hands guests a tub of dead larvae that are used as farm feed. When his wife offered him a tub of dead larvae, William didn't seem amused. The world leaders at the COP26 conference pose for a portrait in the museum foyer while looking up at the camera.